Welcome back, Art and Design family! My name is Angie Maldonado, and I'd like to give a huge and warm welcome to the freshmen. Let's start off with our monthly art reel, showcasing some of the best artwork produced by our students. Wow, amazing and lovely artwork. Now let's transition to our regular segment, Keeping Up With The Majors. For this month, we're highlighting two majors, the film and animation departments, who took home a combined $40,000 in scholarship prize money this past July at the 2022 ABC Disney Get Real With Your Dreams competition. For the competition, students were tasked with creating a 30 second public service announcement. Here is Sierra Collier and Anise Atwell Hudson's first place winning PSA. Anise and Sierra took home $25,000 in scholarship money for their film. We want to start this off by thanking Saraiba Noa and ABC Disney for awarding us $25,000 for our PSA. Um, our PSA was actually inspired by a conversation with Saraiba Noa and another guest anchor, where they talked about wearing their natural hair on television and not always feeling comfortable doing it and just kind of getting into a groove of feeling comfortable. We found that conversation really inspiring and when going into more research, we found the Crown Act. And the Crown Act is an act that prevents discrimination of natural hair in the workplace. Um, as soon as we found that act, we knew that that's what we wanted to make our PSA about. And we feel so grateful and we want to say thank you again for this amazing reward. Thank you to ABC Disney, Charlotte Bonnemois, and just everyone that was involved. And yeah, thank you again. Bye. Professional. Professional. Not professional. And here is the animation that won second place, $15,000, by animators Danny Crowlin, Ellie Hugh, and Tony Inamorato. Wasn't that incredible? We'd like to sincerely thank ABC Disney for these generous awards, and in particular, Sade, Bader, and Wah for spearheading and hosting the competition. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month! Hispanic Heritage Month is observed annually in the U.S. from September 15th to October 15th. The event honors the histories, cultures, and contributions of American, Latinx, and Hispanic communities. The commemoration began in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week. It was expanded to a month by President Ronald Reagan in 1988. 
we asked Ms. Montesino to tell us about the Latinx discussion panel that was held in her class featuring Latinx staff and students. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, our students invited Hispanic teachers and staff members to participate in a student-led panel. In the panel, students created questions that dealt with machismo and our childhood and how sometimes you're treated differently if you're a woman or you're male, even by your own parents. We also talked about the lack of representation in the curriculum, also in media. We discussed different topics ranging from our culture, our food. We even had a debate between students and teachers and even teachers and teachers where we spoke about Sancocho and if we should be eating Sancocho when it's 90 degrees outside. The panel was a success and we hope to continue to create these spaces or our design where Latinx members can come and share their experiences and identities and feel safe and feel comfortable. On September 21st, Art and Design celebrated the unveiling of the two new murals located at the entrance of our building and the school's roof. Both murals were painted using state-of-the-art, air-purifying paint. Here's some of the footage from the event. Uh, I'm very happy that this mural cleans up the air. Uh, we've done it in Europe before. You leave a legacy, you know, this is what, you know, after you're gone, it's still doing its job, cleaning the, the, the air and just makes you proud. You never kind of run into a piece that serves two purposes, right? One, a visual aspect, another one actually cleans the air. So the fact that we, uh, as a school, created something that has an environmental impact means that other people can take a model like this and emulate it all across New York City and beyond. And I think it's really important to know that your artwork isn't just something beautiful, that it has an environmental impact too. As we approach the end of our show, here are some announcements. And that concludes our first newscast of the school year. If you enjoyed this newscast, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you're interested in our school, follow us on Instagram and check out our school website. Hasta la vista, Art and Design. some of the footage from the event. No, you did it, Bob. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> Wow, amazing and lovely artwork. Oh, no. Uh, you wait, no, no, wait, three. On September 21st, Art and Design. That's me, that's me, I'm so sorry. <laughs>